Neighbors, tired of being afraid, are now taking crime fighting into their own hands. ABC 7 News reporter Lisa Amin Galesian is live tonight in San Jose, where two neighborhoods are fighting back. Lisa. That is very true, Ama. You know, they are just two of many where residents say since they're that since there aren't enough police officers, they have to work together to feel safe again. At Hammond Park in West San Jose, residents want to see more families enjoying themselves, but instead they're seeing just the opposite. We've seen the break-ins, we've seen um, vandalism at the park. That's why the Hammond Park Neighborhood Association has taken matters into its own hands. They've hired a security guard to patrol the neighborhood and patrol the park just to try to keep extra eyes on what's going on. The association hired the uniform guard in January because of the crime spike. According to the San Jose Police Department, property crimes citywide are up nearly 30%. In 2012, auto thefts also jumped up 71%. Meantime, the city's police department continues to struggle with staffing levels. Currently, there are 978 officers. Five years ago, there were 1,400. That's probably number one. More police officers patrolling. Brent did not want to be identified. His Eden neighborhood home was burglarized recently. He, like so many others, want more police officers on the streets, and now his neighborhood is also taking action. With the police department stretched so thin, the Eden Neighborhood Association has started a volunteer uh, neighborhood watch program. Retirees patrol the streets daily. Mayor Chuck Reed released his budget message this week and plans to hire 100 more officers this year, a point he stressed at the State of the City address last month. My priority for the coming year will be public safety. But the police officers union doesn't buy it. They say residents are the ones hardest hit. They're paying for police services, yet they're having to go out on their own and hire extra uh, security guards to supplement what the city should be providing. So they're getting double taxed in a sense. And the city promises more police officers will be on the streets soon. In fact, Friday, 44 people will graduate from the police academy. Live in San Jose tonight, Lisa Amin Galesian, ABC 7 News. Thank you, Lisa. Oakland residents and officials met today in a public safety forum to build bridges between the community and the police.